a celestial vision unfolded before my eyes like a divine revelation, transcending all earthly understanding. Imagine if you could see a fiery center, shining with bright metal. And in that blazing fire, there appeared four living creatures, resembling the likeness of a man. However, these creatures were unique, with four distinct faces and four mighty wings. Their feet were like those of a calf, shining with the splendor of polished bronze. Under their wings, spread out on each of the four sides, they had human hands. And something extraordinary happened, these wings touched one another, forming a divine and mysterious scene. They moved with remarkable precision and grace, advancing without ever deviating from their course. The faces of these creatures were astonishing, for each had the face of a man, a lion to the right, an ox to the left, and also the face of an eagle. It was a celestial vision that defied comprehension. The wings of these creatures were stretched upward, touching each other, with two wings covering their bodies. When they moved, the wheels beside them moved in perfect synchronization, going in whatever direction the creatures faced. And most notably, the wheels were covered in eyes, looking in all directions. The sound of the creature's wings was like the roar of rushing waters, like the mighty echo of the voice of the Almighty, like the tumult of an army on the march. When they stopped, they lowered their wings, in a moment of deep respect and reverence. And then, a voice resounded above the expanse over their heads, above what seemed to be a sapphire throne, and on that throne was a figure resembling a man, shining like metal and fire, surrounded by dazzling light, like a rainbow on a rainy day. In the center around the throne were the four living creatures, covered in eyes, and they never ceased to proclaim, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, is, and is to come. Each time they glorified and honored the one on the throne, the twenty-four elders prostrated themselves before him. I saw the Lord seated on a high throne with the train of his robe filling the temple. Celestial beings called seraphim were around him, each with six wings, continuously proclaiming his holiness. And so, in the midst of this celestial vision, I knew that I had been chosen, and my life would never be the same. And, as it may be, this journey brought me face to face with a white horse, a symbol of an uncertain and divine future. My response to the Lord's call was simple, Here am I, send me. May this vision awaken in you the same sense of awe and reverence that was experienced in the presence of divine majesty. For the presence of the Lord is something that transcends all human understanding and reminds us of the grandeur of His creation and divine plan. As the journey led to the presence of the living creatures and the celestial throne, it also took me back to the beginning of history, to the Garden of Eden. There, in Adam and Eve, the first couple created by God, being expelled for their disobedience, banished from Eden to work the land. The Lord, in his infinite wisdom, placed cherubim with a flaming sword to guard the way to the tree of life. This makes it clear that divine justice is unquestionable and that the consequences of our choices can be profound and eternal. At another moment, one of the celestial creatures proclaimed with a voice that echoed like thunder, Behold, a white horse. These words, filled with meaning, suggested a sign of future, mysterious, and prophetic times. Encounters with the majesty of God shape destinies, just as your journey will shape yours. The call of the Lord may reveal itself in mysterious and surprising ways, and celestial visions remind us that our role in the divine story is part of a plan that transcends our understanding. May you find inspiration in the scriptures and celestial visions, and may the Lord always be by your side, guiding you on the journey of faith and devotion. Just as I was chosen to be a messenger, each of us has a purpose in God's grand story. I hope you have enjoyed this story and found valuable insights. Don't forget to watch more stories on the channel. 
If you like the story, please don't forget to leave a like. It helps YouTube deliver more Bible stories to you and helps others learn about the Bible stories. Share the knowledge with a friend. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join the community. Click the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on the exciting Bible stories. And now, I want to hear your opinion. Leave your comment or thoughts below with your questions, thoughts, or suggestions for future stories. I love interacting with you and taking your ideas into account.